Hey, happy Easter everyone. So today we're gonna learn a little bit about Docker networking to set up microservices locally so that you can spawn up multiple Docker containers and they can communicate with each other. So I have really simple setup here. I got a API gateway. Basically this is gonna be a Apollo GraphQL Federation server. So basically it's gonna um, take all the requests and then forward those requests to each single GraphQL server down, uh, down the line and one of those implementing uh, services is the API user profile and basically API Gateway is going to send requests to API user profile and API user profile is going to return response to API Gateway and API Gateway forward the response back to the user so I got a really simple setup uh, for iPad Gateway and if you look at the um, index.ts it's um, really simple um, so this, this is the Apollo Gateway and the service list here basically saying that when it's spawned up it's gonna query iPad user profile for the GraphQL schema and it's gonna use that schema, schema for user to query, um, to query like mutation or query uh, just basic GraphQL standard stuff. And if you look at the iPad user profile, is basically got two type query, query and mutation. And this is just get the user profile based on ID or provided. And the mutation basically just observe the user profile. You don't really worry about the detailed implementation of these services for now. And if you look at the Docker Compose, it basically spawned up two containers. The first one is the app, and the second one is the DB. So the app gonna connect to the DB, and the app gonna write to the DB saved user profile. Uh, database basically and if I do a docker compose up for the iPad user profile um, I have it here I spawn up these um, services As you can see, it spawned up the iPad user profile and iPad user profile DB. As you can see in the Docker Compose. So if I do exactly the same thing for the iPad Gateway, when it spawned up, it should be able to talk to iPad Gateway. It should be able to talk to the iPad user profile. As you can see, you see the iPad gateway. And if I do a lock, now, even though the iPad gateway is spawned up, but the set is can can talk to the iPad user profile, and you see this this get addressing for EA again. This is basically these two docker compose file is not in the same network so one so the docker containers only be able to talk to each other if they are in the same network okay so one way of, to fix this is create a common network for these two um for these three docker containers to talk to each other and we're gonna create that manually. So, you can see this Docker network create minus D bridge compiles infrastructures. So, I create a new network 
name, game house infrastructure, and the driver for this network is bridge. So we're not going to go to uh, Docker network details here at the moment. If you want a video to explain different types of Docker network drivers, I can make another video on it, and this going to be and that's going to be a long video. So for now, what we need to know here is just um, that we need a common network so that all Docker containers can talk to each other. If I press enter, and this is going to create a new network for us. So after create a new network, I do a Docker network LS, and you can see this is created. So now we can link all these Docker container in the same network by specify the network names in the um, services in Docker Compose for both DB networks. And at the root level, we declare a network that we want to link to. So game power infrastructures, the one that we created, external, external means that this network is not meant or not automatically created using Docker Compose. We're gonna do exactly the same for APAC Gateway. Okay. Now, if I re restart everything, and this should be able to work. I'll just wait for it to finish. Okay. Just one up. All right. So now, let's one up the Docker API gateway. Now, if I do the locks here, this is the locks coming out. So, as you can see, it works perfectly. Now, if we go to localhost 3000, okay, so my localhost startup, and I'm be able to do some query, which is pretty cool, right? Okay, so this is pretty much it for today's video, and I hope you learned something, and I'm going to make a video on Docker networking. Thank you very much, guy. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.